So, okay, last one, uh, Sudi. Have you defended individuals who you are fairly sure they have committed the violent acts that they are accused of? Example, murder, rape, etc. And successfully gotten them off of the charges. And if so, how do you reconcile with yourself the knowledge that you have been able to assist them in avoiding repercussions for their actions? I quit studying law because I didn't think I'd be able to compartmentalize my emotions and not be affected by things like this. I'd love to hear your take on it and how you handle it. So here's the thing. This is, this is actually uh, probably one of the most asked questions I get. You know, if you know your client did it, how do you, how do you reconcile that? Well, sometimes your client, sometimes, in fact, a lot of times the best cases are the ones where there's no question what happened. It's just what does it mean legally, okay? Give an example. My client was uh, sitting at the end of a bar, and uh, these guys come in from the co- local college, small town, and my client had smoked a little weed, and he was sitting there, saw a buddy of his that he hadn't seen in a long time, and so they're sitting there, and these guys proceed to get drunk, the other guys that, from the college. And this one guy starts using the N-word and starts calling uh, the Commodore, it's a VFW, calling the Commodore this and this and that. And he was also an instructor, and he just thought he was being bullied. So he's like, okay, you're out of here. So he tell, asked my client and his buddy to, to escort this guy out of there. So the other, my client's buddy grabs him from behind, and my client grabs his hands, and they're walking him out the door. It's all on video. He wriggles free, goes to punch my client in the face, and my client pushes him back. He falls five days later. He's dead. Hits his head, and, he, and he's dead. No question what happened. Prosecutor filed second-degree intentional murder charges, which were absolutely unbelievable and ridiculous. And so I, I knew he did it, and it, but it wasn't murder. Now, what about somebody who really did something, and you know, it's not an issue of law. It's a matter of whether... You can um, have him skate the charge, him or her. Well, that's a different question. And the role that I play as a criminal defense lawyer is to help people um, in tough situations, right? The role that a prosecutor plays is to put people in prison. The burden is on the prosecutor to put them in prison, period. And if the prosecutor can't do that, I don't care what the case is, they shouldn't go to prison. Thomas Jefferson said, Better to let 10 guilty go free than imprison one innocent person. That's an old ism that people um, are, you know, in the law game are very familiar with. So it's not my job to uh, help the prosecutor convict somebody. But our, our, our process, our constitutional process does not work unless we have the yin and, yin and the yang. So I don't feel – I'll tell you when I do feel bad. I do feel bad if uh, somebody, I'll give you an example. Uh, I had a client that was acquitted of murder too. And I thought he should, be, he should be acquitted. This is where I feel bad. And then he goes out and commits more crimes. And, and I don't feel bad from the standpoint there's additional victims out there because in that particular case there wasn't an additional victim. It was he, he gets out of jail after spending like 17 months in jail waiting for his trial. And he calls me up after an acquittal. And he was looking at 25 years plus, and he says, what's the penalty for counterfeiting? I'm like, dude, you know, I mean, you want your work to mean something. You know, you want somebody who who gets a second chance to embrace it. So when they don't embrace it, and all of a sudden they, you know, I I don't like repeat customers. I have a few, but I don't like them because, you know, they make it very very difficult to – to defend. You know, I like somebody who later on, five years down the road says, oh my God, you changed my life. That's what I love. I just, you know, that that, the guy at the VFW that I was telling you about, he was able, because of what we did in that case, he kept his job, he kept his home, he, he continued to be a a father to his children. And, um, he thinks, he thanks me all the time. And there's no greater reward as a criminal defense lawyer than that.